So rational expressions, rational, if you look at the word rational, you can note that ratio is the key word. And anytime we say something is a ratio, then we have one number divided by another number. Five over six is a ratio. Six over four is a ratio. So all of those are ratios. In a similar manner, if I take a function, let's say If I change the numbers and write them as x plus two over x minus one, three over x plus one, x squared plus two over three x plus one, they're all rational expressions. So you divide one function by another function. You can also divide it by a number. There is nothing wrong with that. So, to deal with rational functions, any type of problem with rational functions, we have to be quite certain of the domain of the rational function or the rational expression. Because anytime we have a rational function, rational expression, Rational functions are likely to have points that need to be excluded from the domain. Due to divide by zero. Anytime you have division, You've got to know you, you can't divide a number by zero. So now I have rational expressions or rational functions. And if the denominator becomes zero for some x value, that needs to be excluded from the domain. So here are some examples. Three x squared plus two over nine. In order to check for divide by zero, we always look for numbers that would make the denominator zero. Could the nine in the denominator make it zero? No, because nine could never equal zero. So nine could never equal zero. So this particular function, f of x will never 
have a divide by zero problem or issue. Issue would be a better way to say it. So no x value is going to cause an issue. So we go back and look at the numerator. I can plug in any value in 3x squared plus 2. If you graph the numerator, it will just be a nice little curve. It's a um, U-shaped parabola, and you will not have any problems for any value of x. I can plug in any x in 3x squared plus 2 and get a number back. So the domain here all real numbers. So I can put any number in that expression and I will get a number back. Let's consider f of x is equal to x plus one over x minus two. x plus one, not going to cause a problem. I could put any number in x plus one and I'm going to get a real number back. But if I plug in two in the denominator, if I'm going to set denominator equal to zero to see if there is a value which would make the denominator zero. If I set x minus two equal to zero, that would mean x is equal to two. If I take that two and plug it in the expression, I would get f of two to be equal to two plus one over two minus two, which is three over zero. And that is divide by zero. And that is an issue we cannot have. But would the denominator work for any other value of x? Absolutely. I can put in negative three, negative two, zero, five, 11, negative 100, doesn't matter. I can plug in any number in the denominator, but I cannot plug in two because it'll make the denominator zero. So the domain here, all real numbers except x is equal to two. So we look at the numerator and I could put any number in the numerator and I'm not going to have an issue because it's just x squared plus x. I look at the denominator, if I plug in zero, two x would be equal to zero, which would mean divide by zero. So the domain would be all real numbers, except x is equal to zero. That's what we would think. But no. Anytime you have a rational function or a rational expression, first thing that you should ask yourself is, could I factor? Once I factor the numerator and the denominator, is there something that I can get rid of? Is there a factor that is in common between the numerator and the denominator? So 
f of x is equal to x squared plus x over 2x. I have an x in common in the numerator. If I pull that out, I would have x. Since I've pulled x from x squared, I'll have x. And since I've pulled x from x, I'll have 1 divided by 2x. The x and x will get cancelled. I would simply have 2x plus 1. Oh, excuse me, x plus 1 over 2. We want to know if the denominator would become 0. The denominator will never become 0 because 2 could never equal to 0. And the numerator is x plus 1, and I could plug in any number I want, and I will get a number back. So the domain here is all real numbers.